Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick and Andrew here. Welcome to Nick and Andrew's Wrestling Reviews. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment. Yeah. We have a contest going on. We have a contest today. Andrew's going to explain the rules. It's a pretty big contest, so please pay attention. If not, there will be a, um, there'll be the rules in the description below. Mm -hmm. And uh, seriously, guys, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do a lot of keyboard typing for this. <laughs> All right. So basically, how this is gonna work is I have a copy of WWE 20, uh, 2K14 for Xbox 360. Uh, it's up for grabs. Um, essentially. Whoever guesses all of the matches right, or who comes the closest to the matches right, um, we will send you the package. Um, all you have to do to in order to enter this, you have to subscribe to our channel, and you have to comment down below your list of who you think is going to win. If there's two people that had the same exact list, I go off of whoever's first. Yep. Um, but other than that, it's really simple. Obviously, we'll get in touch with you if you won. Uh, probably send you a message on YouTube, unless you have, unless you want to include your Twitter, Twitter or, handle, Facebook, it, doesn't whatever. Matter. Whatever. We'll we'll get we'll get in contact with you and we'll get your address so we can send it to you. But yeah. um, just make sure Does you it follow. Does matter where the rules. they're at too? If they're in the United States or not? Uh, it has to be in the United okay. States. Okay. It has to be domestic. It can't be international. Uh, unfortunately, an international shipping rates are kind of ridiculous, so yeah. <laughs> it's easier for domestic. Domestic's easy, yes. um, but United States, residential United States, not Hawaii, unfortunately, a Hawaii or Alaska, because those don't count, because they're not connected to us. <laughs> True that. But uh, that's how the contest is going to work. I'll leave it all in the description, leave it nice and easy for you. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. If your subscriptions are hidden, I can't see if you're subscribed to us. So make sure you're, you go to your YouTube settings and show your subscriptions, even if it's just for a week so I can see it. Yeah. Um, but other than that, you guys know the rules. If you don't, they're down below. Let's get on with our WrestleMania predictions. Start out with the 30-man Andre Giant over the top Battle Royale. All right. So we got a list here of all the participants that are going to be in mm. the Battle Royal. Alberto Del Rio, Big E Langston, Big Show, Brad Maddox, Brodus Clay, Christian, Cody Rhodes, Damian Sandow, Darren Young, Dolph Ziggler, Fandango, Drew McIntyre, uh, Gold Dust, The Great Khali, Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, Justin Gabriel. Uh, who's that? Justin Gabriel's a high flyer from uh, Cape Town, South Africa. All right. He's not on TV a lot, but he, he's friggin' awesome. See, dude. we'll we'll see him on WrestleMania. Yeah. And that's gonna be cool because it gives a lot of people a chance. Justin Gabriel's awesome. So Justin Gabriel, Kofi Kingston, Mark Henry, The Miz, Rey Mysterio, Sheamus, R Truth, Santino Morello, Sin Cara, Titus O'Neil, and Zack Ryder are the official ones for now, and there's three participants. To be announced. Well, on WWE Network, oh, not the network, on WWE website, there's four. Well, I haven't, I know they said Brad Maddox, but that's mm -hmm. not official on WWE site, just so you know. You know, that's, this is Wikipedia. This is Wikipedia, so Brad Maddox might not be true, but um, they're saying four yeah. that aren't announced um, on WWE. But. All I know is that one of the mystery guys I'm thinking is going to be Rob Van Dam. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling Rob Van Dam would show up. Which would be awesome so for him to come back. Um, I love RVD. I love RVD. He's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, for the Battle Royale, um, it's it's pretty simple for me. I'm, I'm going with Big Show. He's going with the Big Show. Um, <clears throat> for me, I'm actually thinking as of late, because I mean, I know they're giving Big Show a huge push, but... I'm, I'm thinking Sheamus is going to pull it out. I, I think it'd be cool. I'd really like the big show to win. Yeah. But I also I also really like Sheamus. He's a really strong competitor. Yeah. But, like, looking at, you know, Big Show's history of, like, mm -hmm. coming in WCW. Yeah. He was, he was uh, told to be Andre Giant's son. Mm -hmm. I mean. And they did call him the Giant. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, For a long time, he did go by the name of Giant. I just think so. doing a, putting a lot of effort into mm -hmm. the big show and... I don't know why they would make him lose putting all the effort into it, but we've seen crazier things. We've, um, we've seen a lot of things like that. Yeah, so big, For me, <laughs> Big Show is probably my number one candidate for the win. So is half the world out there, but Sheamus is not a bad candidate at I, all. I would say Sheamus, but um, 
again, you guys leave it down below. We'll, yeah, do you agree with us? <laughs> if you don't agree with us, let us know. Yeah. Um, Remember, you got a WWE, copy of WWE 2K14. Then, on then we'll talk about the pre-show. Um, it was just announced <clears throat> pre-show is going to be the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Title Match. Um, we got the Usos, the Real Americans, Curtis Axel and Ryback, Rybaxel, and Los Matadores. My prediction is I think the Real Americans, because of my boy Zeb Coulter, um, shout out to my girlfriend's mom for finding me that. <laughs> um, what's I think I think the Real Americans are finally going to win the belts. I think that they're making Swagger and Cesar look really good on TV as of late. I know mm -hmm. the Usos just won it. But I'm going to throw the wild card, and I think the Real Americans walk out of WrestleMania tag team champs. Well, I'm, I'm going based off of what you just said, how they just want it. I think they're going to keep it, at least for this pay-per-view. If not, then, uh, hey, it's going to be an upset for me. But yeah. I'm going with the Usos. Uh, I think they're going to keep it until Extreme Rules, and there's going to be a big match there. I can feel that. It's going to be awesome. Extreme mm -hmm. Rules is going to be sweet. Extreme Rules is going to be really cool. We're going to be there. <laughs> But uh, what do we got? Divas. Uh, yeah, the Divas. But I mean, we could talk about that if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> might, might as well. It's a Divas. Uh, Vicky Guerrero Invitational. One falls to the victory. Mm -hmm. um, I th personally think. I, I think we're both in agreement on this one, if I'm thinking who you're thinking. Yeah, I think Tamina. Tamina. I think Tamina walks out Divas champion. Um, there's a small percentage of me thinking that AJ is going to still retain but I think if anybody, if I think if the title does change, it will be mm -hmm. to Tamina. Yeah, so we'll we'll say Tamina. Um, but I did have another theory, but I'm going with Tamina. Uh, I was thinking if AJ is going to win, then her and Tamina at Extreme Rules do some sort of match like that. Because yeah. I don't think I've ever really seen a Divas like Extreme Rules they, match. They never do. It. They never, never do it. Never. I think it would be really cool awesome. and really unique, especially like a ladder match. especially like such the size difference between AJ and Tamina. Yeah, like a um, ladder match. Yeah. Be sick. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Um, but again, we're going with Tamina. Yeah. Tamina's our girl. Tamina's our girl. She's Tamina. Gonna... <laughs> but uh, I, we'll talk about The Shield against... Kane and the old age outlaws. You go first, because I have a crazy prediction. <laughs> well, I'm going with the obvious choice. I'm going with the Shield, because I would I would really like to see them win, because the Shield. <laughs> <clears throat> I obviously your crazy prediction is that it's not the Shield. The Shield are going to break up at WrestleMania. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose will turn on Roman Reigns, Ooh. which will cause. Kane and the Stone Age Outlaws to win the match at WrestleMania because of their turning on them. I don't see them staying together. I don't. I know they just turned face. I know everybody's, you know, they're, no one's expecting it. Expect it. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose are going to turn heel again and turn on our boy, Roman Reigns. Oh, man. Uh, that's, that's crazy. Um... Again, I don't agree a, with it. I but put a lot of thought into this. You put a lot of thought into it. A lot it. of thought into it. Um, and if I get this right, I don't know. I'm probably not going to do anything, but <laughs> I'll be really happy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. But again, I don't agree with that, but yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't agree with it, tell us. Yeah. Um, let's. Which one do you want to go with next? You want to go with The Undertaker or you want to go with Bray? I want to go with Bray. All right, we'll go I'm with that. Bray. All right. So, um, Bray Wyatt, John Cena. Uh, obviously, the Wyatts are going to be on the sideline for that. Yes. Um, which we already kind of know that Hulk Hogan's going to be on John Cena's side. Yes. So, I have two this, theories on this th match. This one's tough. I mean, I would love it to be the unexpected, but I also expect it to be Bray Wyatt. I expect him to beat John Cena. Um, no matter how strong John Cena looked tonight on yeah. Raw, um, I expect Bray Wyatt to pull it out because I expect big things from Bray Wyatt this year. I've said it, and I'll say it again. It would be a really poor mistake if the WWE doesn't have John Cena put Bray Wyatt over. But the only way I see John Cena winning this match, mm. if Hulk Hogan somehow inserts himself in, like maybe... You know, he distracts Bray in some way, or 
he, he's like a special he, guest referee yeah, or, like or he, something. Or he like um, somehow fights Luke Harper and everyone on the sidelines distracting Bray. Mm-hmm. That would be the only way I see John Cena winning. But I'm really pulling for my boy Bray. I think that would be the greatest moment of Bray's life for a time. I think, I think that would be the best decision WWE can make. Yes. Push Bray beyond what he is now. Yes. Let Luke and Aaron, Eric, kind of, Eric kind of do their own thing. I, I, I want to see them tag. I want to see those two tag champs. I, I would love that. I want that to happen bad. That, they'd be really cool. Um, they'd be a tag team that had like Bray Wyatt. Chilling on the sideline, which yeah, is like... Which is always the next factor, right there. Mm-hmm. Always. And Just like Zeb Coulter's always next factor. Yeah, dude. Zeb is the greatest manager of all time. <laughs> but, uh, so we got that, and now we have the Brock Lesnar-Undertaker match. I think we're both in, in <sighs> we're, agreement. We're both in agreement, Undertaker. Yeah, it's 100%. I'm, I'm with the Undertaker. Um, you can't doubt the dead man. Uh, but I am super pumped for the match. Yes, it's a, it's going to be an awesome match. I'm, I'm going to love that. Yeah, I, I have no doubt to my mind that this is going to be one of the sickest matches on the card. I think um, him, Brock and Taker are going to I'm still a little match. upset that there's no stipulations behind I know. it. I really wanted a buried a bury alive match. Mm. That's but, what I wanted really. But obviously they've saved all the stipulations for the main event and the match prior to the main event yes um so this is where it's gonna get a little dicey i'll go first we'll go first you'll go first okay. uh so we have triple h daniel bryan okay guys daniel bryan and triple h is gonna end in a draw which will make the main event of wrestlemania a fatal four-way mm. and then we'll get in my prediction for that if it's a fatal four-way i knew we win with that all right, so he's saying fatal four way. I'm saying Triple H just buries Daniel Bryan. Yeah. I'm saying I'm saying it right now because once we announce our next thing, I'm gonna tell you why Triple H is just gonna bury him. Um, but uh, so we're gonna go on from there. Uh, obviously, for me, Triple H has now moved on. For you, both of them have moved yes. on. Yes. Yes. So now he has a fatal four way. I have a triple threat match. Let's do our predictions. You do yours for your fatal four way. Here's what's gonna happen, guys. I do not see in any way, shape, or form. And I get again, guys. I am a Daniel Bryan fan. He is pretty much my favorite wrestler of the current roster. Um, I do not see him any way, shape, or form walking out of WrestleMania 30. WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Nor do I. Yes. Obviously. I think, <laughs> and I have two, I have two people, I don't think it's going to be Randy Orton either. It's between Batista and Triple H. I'm leaning more towards Triple H to leave the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, but Batista did come back for a reason. Mm-hmm. So it's, and he's told us his reasons like 800 yeah, times. Remember, he, win the Royal Rumble, main event WrestleMania, and become WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Spit. <laughs> <laughs> so, but again, they, Batista did come back for a reason. He has made in statements that they didn't offer him anything. Like, they didn't give him, like, hey, if you come back, you'll be champion. But it is kind of weird. Like, why would he just come back? Out of the blue, yeah. Especially closer to WrestleMania, Maybe especially right something. after that title changed into the WWE yeah. World Heavyweight. So, title. so it's but again, I believe it's going to be Batista or Triple H walking out. Um, I'm leaning more towards Triple H walking out of WrestleMania uh, 30 WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Yep. And uh, that's basically how I'm going. Uh, I'm thinking with the Triple Threat match, it's kind of like the end of Evolution. Which I think is awesome. Which is cool. I love that they're doing this. They're bringing up it a lot, which is why I've made this prediction. Yeah. Um, Evolution was a huge thing, like, what, all they need almost, is Rick, ten, almost 10 years ago? All they need is Ric Flair to be the special guest referee. It, exactly. But Evolution was a huge thing. It was Ric Flair, Triple H, Randy Orton, and Batista. Batista. That's where Batista and Randy Orton got their start. That, that's where they got their start. Triple H kickstarted them. Into huge stardom. And Batista keeps mentioning how Triple H never beat him. Yep. Batista always brings up the fact, oh, Triple H never beat me, never beat me. Triple H is going to beat him. Yeah. Triple H is going to beat him and Randy Orton in the triple threat match, main event, WrestleMania. Yeah, Triple H Tri- is leaving. Triple WWE H is leaving WWE World Heavyweight Champion. It's going to be and awesome. He is going to feed with Daniel Bryan, though, guys. Yes. Daniel Bryan yes. isn't out of we're the ex- future. We're expecting a huge match announcement for... 
Extreme Rules. Yeah, I mean, I do think that Daniel Bryan will be WWE World Heavyweight Champion, mm -hmm. but it's not happening at WrestleMania. It's not going to happen at WrestleMania. They're not putting too much effort into the storyline between him and uh, Daniel Bryan. I mean, honestly, there's been a couple of segments, there, but it's more with... There's been a huge storyline gain with Batista, Randy Orton, and Triple H. Yeah. And Triple H would be... Honestly, he'd be the best choice for the champion right now. Yeah, because, I agree, dude. Because they make him the champ. He's the also fan, the boss. He's also the boss, so he's going to have a lot of say and a lot of a lot of things that he's going to do yeah. when he's the champion. Remember, Vince and McMahon was the ECW Vince Mc, champion. Vince McMahon was champ. Uh, Vince McMahon fought a lot in WWE. Yeah, yeah. And he fought Stone Cold. He fought he Bret was, Hart. It was great when he did that. Yeah. Because it'll also help solidify Triple H as a heel, which he's had a rough time as the authority becoming one. Yeah. Because, let's face it, he's still Triple H, and he's been really soft up until this point. Yeah. So, he's going to have a huge presence, and that's my prediction, Triple yeah, H. Yeah, I'm with you, dude. Triple H, I still think it's going to be a fatal four-way. Because I still think they want to give the fans the perception of Daniel Bryan winning the title. Mm -hmm. But Triple H is going to pedigree them all. And Triple H is going to have those two shiny belts on his shoulder. Yep. And he's going to be laughing at everybody's face come Monday Night Raw. Yeah, no, definitely. Tri Triple H all the way. Yep. Um, let us know your predictions. Yep. Again, if you get the everything right, I will send you that video game. And you can relive all WrestleMania moments on the through the storyline. <laughs> And I'm sure they'll come out with a DLC, or in the next game, they'll come out with WrestleMania 30 type yeah. stuff. But they might even have a DLC for it for WrestleMania 30. Who knows? I, I mean, I know you don't really play the storyline for it, but apparently the storyline's really good. You play through all the years. You play through all the years of WrestleMania, and which is great. Yes. Um, and, you know, seriously, guys, if you want this video game, it's a free video game for the Xbox. It's, it's going to cost worth, me money to send it to Yeah, you. which is what? Worth <laughs> what? The game's now, because you work at video games. What is it uh, worth right I think, now? I think it's worth 40 bucks yeah, right now. $40 game for absolutely and nothing. It, and it's selling out right now because they're advertising the crap yeah. out of it. So, guys, seriously, if you want the game, you don't have it, or you trade it in, you regret it, you mm -hmm. have a chance to get it for free right now. You have now. a chance to get it for free as long as you have an Xbox 360. Yeah, and you have to comment. Seriously, you cannot win this contest without commenting and subscribing. and subscribing so you have no chance of winning if you don't do either one yep so uh again if you're subscribing make sure your subscriptions are shown i know a lot of people might not know about that but go into your youtube settings and change that yeah uh it's really important or else i can't see it because I, I think right now i can only see like eight subscribers out of our 17 uh that's not good for you <laughs> yeah and, and you know guys i just want to again say thank you Thank you. Yeah, because and I mean, me and Andrew are really... We really can't are, thank you enough. It's yeah, It's been... It's humbling. It's really humbling. Uh, our last video blew up. Yeah, it's still going. Every single time we go on it, it's it's been up. It's close to 300 views right now. Yeah, and I can't thank you guys enough. It, it really helps us know that the effort that we're putting into this is really going to pay off. Uh, not monetizing way, but in... In yeah. our own way. Yeah, like, yeah. Just it just makes us feel good. It's rewarding that yeah. people like our opinion. We just want to hear your opinion, yeah. guys. We Let's let's make this. Let's make this show. Not just but, our show. Your show, too. Yeah. You know, we'll, 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 let's start doing a... Oh, you want, we can do a question and answer segment in our next couple of videos. You guys just have to leave us the questions. That's all we ask. That's we it. just need responses. If you guys want to know our feelings on, I don't know, on anything to do with wrestling, you want to even want to know how we feel about... Roman Reigns' hair, why it's always wet. Leave it in the comment section, guys. We will have a question and answer segment. He pees on it before segment. every match. What's that? He pees on it before every match. There's your answer for that. <laughs> but, like, seriously, guys, if you guys have questions and you want some answers, if you even want our opinion on something, leave it. We will make sure if you guys do this, we will take the questions and we will have a question and answer segment yep. in our videos. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Enjoy WrestleMania 30 because I don't think we're gonna have a video up before then. But no, probably after. We'll probably have after. one up Monday. Uh, Monday, uh, probably Monday night. Yeah, we'll have one up. Uh, we should have one up right after it. So we'll see you guys next time. Follow us on Twitter for WrestleMania 30. We're gonna be live tweeting. So. Yeah, seriously, guys, start following us on Twitter. Our Twitter handles are always in the description. Always. Um, I am very active on Twitter. I'm always retweeting. If you want to talk to me, I'm very easy to get to. I so get, is Andrew too. I get very I get very active during pay per views yes. and 
I, I'm active as long as someone's talking to me. Yeah, seriously, guys. I have no problem taking time out of my day and talking to people on Twitter about wrestling. Um, you know, if we don't get back to you right away, it's, we're not ignoring you. Know, we, we have jobs. Uh, <laughs> So as soon as as soon as we get the opportunity, we will answer every single mm -hmm. person that tweets us. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys. Leave a like. See ya. Sam Coulter.